If you guys are looking to buy or sell your Rocket League items for money, then make sure to head to the first link in the description. You can buy absolutely any item that you want and have now also included item bundles to save you guys even more money and save more from your purchase with code Jakers at checkout. New crate is finally out and so I'm giving away 10 keys to a lucky subscriber. So make sure that you're subscribed, you turn on post notifications, drop a like on today's video and leave a comment with your details down below and what your favorite item is going to be in this new accelerator crate. Hey, what's going on guys? I am Jakers and welcome back to another Rocket League video on the channel. And yesterday, we took a look at all of the new white versions of some of the new items in the accelerator crate. We covered all of the wheels. So we haven't took a look at the new white Jaeger yet. I actually pronounced that right this time. A lot of you were roasting me in the comments in the last video for not pronouncing that right, but I got it right this time. And in the new most expensive car video for for the new crate, I'll be covering the white Jaeger as well as some of the other most expensive items like the new gold explosions and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that on the channel. That'll be really awesome for me to do. But in today's video, we are going to be covering just the new Clockwork Exotic Wheel, which is honestly my favorite item in this new crate. And you guys, when opening these new accelerator crates, because there's not many of them around right now, it took me very, very long to find all the different painted versions of them and also even some of the um, not regular versions which I've got from opening crates. But yeah, it was an awesome time doing it. Shortly I'll be showing you some trades which I did for some of these colours to show you guys how much you might have to pay to buy some of these new painted wheels, which is surprisingly not too much because I managed to pick up some of the nicest colours for just 5 keys or 10 keys or under, so they are pretty cheap if you want to pick them up and you do like the way they look just like myself, then yeah, it's a cheap thing to do. So hopefully this video shows you whether you like the new clockwork wheels and if you do like them then which colour variants of them you do want to buy. So let's get into some awesome trades that I've done for some of these new wheels um, just to see how much you, we'd honestly have to pay for it. I think I picked up the lime, the crimson and some other awesome colours. So here are some trades which I did for some of the new painted clockworks that are actually fantastic. So here it is. The first trade that I did was for the crimson pair of painted clockwork wheels. The cheapest I could find them was for 25 pure keys. So here is a trade that went through of 25 keys for the new crimson clockworks. We bought three more different colours in this trade here, which are the saffron, lime and the pink version, which are some awesome new colours and I managed to buy all of these for just 30 keys and I was also going to buy the sky blue from this guy, but I didn't like the way they look and he honestly liked them so much because they matched his car and his painted halo. So 30 keys for these three wheels are 10 keys each, which I feel like is an awesome deal. I feel like I did very well buying the burnt sienna because I bought them for just five keys and they honestly look really golden as you'll see in the showcases that I'll do in a few minutes time. And so they honestly are a really good buy for just five keys or two keys more than the original Onto the bigger trades now. Okay, these are for the exotic wheels This is for the clockwork titanium white. These wheels are literally my favorite. They look so so good I paid a, a large amount. This is 50 keys with an add of black dracos Which I bought off pick a pixel and these sell for about 12 to 15 keys So it's about a 62 key trade. I've had offers of around 80 keys for these wheels already So I feel like this is a good pickup and they're definitely going to be quite highly priced very soon, I hope. Okay, so after looking at some trades there, it's time to finally look at a little showcase and a spin cycle of all of the new wheels and all of the painted variants. There are 13 different colours, which means it comes in every painted variant of this new possible wheel. And the one thing I'd recommend to you guys, the first two wheels that we're probably going to look at are the grey and the white. Make sure not to buy the white. If you want to buy white, um, the only thing that's different between the grey and the white is that the little pulse that it has in the centre is brighter So you might want to buy it just for that fact But if you don't want to spend the huge 60 or more keys for the titanium white Then make sure to just buy the grey which are around 10 um, And also the cobalt don't buy the Cobalt, just buy the regular. They're literally the exact same. You won't even tell the difference in the showcase. I'm going to show you quite soon. So let's jump into a showcase of the 13 different color wheels and the regular ones. So here it is. And I honestly enjoyed myself so much looking at all the painted variants before most people would have even seen any of them. So here it is. It's an awesome showcase. So... Let's go for it. We're starting off with the titanium white here. These are, are of course the most expensive version of this new wheel and they look absolutely amazing. But after this, I'm going to show you the grey and then also side by side with the grey. So you can see why you might not want to pay this much for this wheel. 
Okay, so we're moving straight on to the new grey version of these clockwork wheels. And I bet you can't even tell the difference from the last wheel and these wheels. Except from the slight difference in the centre circle which pulses, uh, which is a bit darker than the titanium white. And they definitely are worth buying more than the white version in my opinion. So as I said in the first clip, here are the grey and the titanium white side by side. On the left car, which is a blue car, which is my car, um, there is the titanium white. And on the right, the guy who has the buzzkill has the grey. So you can see a comparison with the white white and the grey they literally do not look different at all and so the grey are definitely worth buying more in my opinion we're moving on to the saffron version here this goes really nice with a yellow car which is on the orange team so this is a really good match if you have a yellow car and i know a lot of people use the saffron draco so it is a better match in my opinion and look very nice and stand out because they're quite bright once again, another wheel that matches the orange team car very perfectly. This car right here is pink, and if you had a heat wave or something, and you had the secondary colour as a lighter pink, this would look really nice as a accent to match these new wheels. Moving on to the Cobalt here, these are a wheel that goes really nice with the blue team car, and they look very similar to the regular wheel, so I'll be showing you regular wheels straight after this, so you get a straight after comparison. You can maybe flick back the video to see how different they are, and if they're worth buying. Once again, just like the grey and titanium white, I bet you cannot tell a difference. These are the regular clockwork wheels, which you can easily get from opening crates and are very cheap at about two to three keys. Here are the lime painted versions now, and lime has been getting slowly more popular as we've seen the lime apex go up to about 250 keys. And this is a mix between the saffron and the forest green, in my opinion, and go really well with a orange team car and also a blue in some places. So a really match one, which can go quite neutral on both team cars. Another more expensive one here. I paid 25 keys for the crimson but they're selling right now for about 40 so I got them for a very good deal and they look really really nice on a red car as you can see here and would match a maybe a crimson painted Jaeger very very nicely as an item from this new crate. I paid five keys for the burnt sienna clockworks and you guys might not think they're worth it but these honestly look really golden they stand out really really well and if you build a golden car with like a brushed metal as your paint finish then it, this will go really really nicely. I feel like they were honestly a good pickup for just their five key price tag we're moving on to the sky blue now and i'd love to say that they look similar to the regular but they really don't when you put them onto a sky blue car which i asked this guy to do who's also repping the new painted halo they stand out massively up there in the top five are the forest green this goes really nice with the green car once again and are going to be some of the most expensive versions of these new wheels and i think they'll be worth it they honestly look really really nice and i would pay around 20 keys for these wheels and maybe even more we're moving on to the black now and they're actually really really different from the grey because that little center circle is really more dull and transparent so I wouldn't actually recommend picking up these black they're not as nice as the black zombies and wouldn't go with a car nicely. A wheel that's also quite nice that would go with an orange team car of, of of course the orange clockworks but they don't have that golden feel that the burnt sienna brings so I would actually recommend the burnt sienna over these new orange wheels because I feel they look way more bright and give a shine off that looks quite appealing. The final wheel that we're moving on to is the purple. These are surprisingly really nice and go really well with this secondary accent of a purple on this guy's car. They pop really well just like the forest green do and are once again worth I think around 20 keys and I would definitely pay that price tag. Okay guys we've just taken a look at all of the different painted variants of these new wheels and they were and honestly fantastic and they look amazing. Sinos did a really good job in my opinion and in my opinion they are better than the chrono wheels. I didn't decide to cover the chrono wheels because I did sort of a little showcase of all the different colours and pictures before they even dropped from the crate and also Lama Sir covered that as well as an animation so I didn't feel that was necessary but soon I'll be covering the new Halo toppers which look absolutely fantastic. I want to get my hands on some of those and I've seen the Cobalt and Crimson version of the new Halos as well so I'll probably be buying a load of the new items so if you have some um, make sure to let me know in the comments of today's video so I can pick some off you and give you a really good offer because I honestly do like a lot of these new items and I'll try to cover as many new painted sets on the channel as possible very soon before anyone else does so you get the content fresh on YouTube so it's been an awesome time trading and also showing these new items if you guys have enjoyed them make sure to smash a like um, it's unfortunately the end of today's video I might if I play a few games with these new wheels I'll throw it in but this is unfortunately the end of today's video I'll I'll catch all of you guys in the next one so peace out until next time
got this far in today's video, then make sure to comment Jakers is a clock in your comments. So I know you've got right to the end of today's video and only the secret people that get right to the end of our video know to comment this and people will be puzzled in the comment section uh, because they haven't got right to the end and you have. So congratulations for getting to the end of today's video. Make sure to turn on post notifications because soon I'll be doing post notification shout outs. Have an awesome day and peace out from here.